everybody, welcome to the channel. Pete is back here again with my wild and crazy prediction for 2023 in the world of Evercade. Yes, I am going to do my prediction show like I do every year. I kind of want to just, you know, think outside the box, think inside the box and have fun. If you're a returning user, user is the right word? Viewer? <laughs> if you're a returning viewer, I don't know why I said user. Um, I want to thank you for supporting the channel since uh, we created it back in the summer. For new people to the channel, thanks so much for checking out, clicking on that thumbnail and hanging out with me. This channel is focused, you know, on gaming, retro gaming, Evercade, Steam Deck, Playdate, whatever. But, you know, we have a whole lot of Evercade content there. So this is a prediction show for 2023. I'm super excited to talk about what I think is going to happen for 2023. Of course, all of this is just speculation. We don't have any insider information or nothing like that. We are not Nostradamus over here, but we tend to kind of, you know, predict certain things. We predicted a home console, it came. Um, we predicted a computer line before. And when we say we, I mean my fellow co-hosts on the um, Evercast, stuff like that. So, okay, I'm just gonna get into it. Now that you've hit that subscribe and smash that like button and got your comment ready to say I'm crazy about my predictions. First prediction, we're gonna get hardware, yes. And you're saying, oh my God, Pete, not new hardware again. We just got three years, starting three years in 2023, and we got EXP. We had the original. We got the VS. No more. But I think it's going to be something different. I think they're going to put out a wireless controller. I honestly do. I think they're going to put out an arcade, arcade stick, probably wired with the arcade stick, just because it feels that's probably the best bet for latency and something like that. But I think they're going to probably put out something small, something bite sized because there's money to be made in hardware, right? You know, software, you know, they have to pay licensing fee, but if they can get the hardware right and they can use technology that's quite mature, they can they can make some profit on it. And I think so we might see some small controllers, arcade stick, we, we might see that, definitely. And along the hardware, I think we're gonna see a variant to the EXP. I think we're gonna see just a color, a new shell on it. I think they're gonna probably mid-year produce the Capcom colors and maybe something else. They, it's just another way to keep their name out there uh, and get people excited about current hardware because people like different colored version of their hardware. They like, like, like you know, the PlayStation 5, people went crazy for the plates that you can put on them. You know, Xbox is famous for always putting out different special editions of their consoles. So, you know, I don't think Blaze is any different. They're going to do it at their level, their size, small, stuff like that. My next prediction is online play. I think we're going to get online play in 2023. I think everything's pointing towards it. But now with the EXP having wireless built in and being on par from a hardware perspective as the VS, I think online play, they need to make it work. It's not like it's magic, people. It's hardware play is happening uh online play sorry is happening out there you know other companies have solved the retro online play i think it's a bit of work but i think it's the blaze team is up for that challenge so i honestly think that that's a no-brainer for me they I, I think they just would grow the community even further being able to play some of the multiplayer games across the internet with your friends would be wicked in my mind. I'm really sucking at this Bruce Lee game <laughs> on the Commodore 64. It's hard to talk and play at the same time. Oh, people are saying just, you know, whatever, Pete. Uh, but yeah, absolutely, I think online play is coming. The next prediction is something that Sean said in the latest Evercast chat. We talked about collections and number of collections, and I was a big proponent of getting more out there so there's more choice. Out there, of course, we don't want shovelware and that. And those comments were brought up in the in the in the chat, and I totally appreciate that. Like, you definitely don't want shovelware out there because, but I mean, there's there's literally sixty thousand video games that have been created, of of at least forty thousand can run on the uh, on the Evercade ecosystem, no problem. So you know, there's no shortage of amazing games that they can tap into. So I'd absolutely love to see them double so i predict they're going to double their output i think we're going to see 24 if not 30 collections this year and i think that's going to be how are they going to go about doing it i honestly think they're going to go about doing it by uh having more dual carts of indie games i just died uh dual carts of indie games like the all one cathedral collection you're going to see more dual carts tri carts perhaps you're going to see a lot more indie games because they're big sellers they're talking points for the community a lot of people love 
um, talking about those collections and they, they can be curated and it's like they can put a lot of love and care into them. So I am super, super kind of excited and anticipating a whole lot more content. And with, in that line, where are all these going to collections come from? I think you're going to see less and less of the console collections. I think you're going to see, obviously, more computer collections. You're going to see, obviously, an Amiga is going to already announced. You're going to see two of those. You're going to see two, maybe three more of the C64. You're going to see the Atari ST uh, computer line, 8-bit computer line. You're going to see Speccy. You're going to see a whole bunch. They're going to double down on computer microcomputer collections and arcade collections but you will still see a console collection or two coming out and i think this is where we're going to see our number three um collections coming the atari collection three you might see you know a new number three coming out on the arcade line you're just going to start seeing it you're going to start seeing that because there's no shortage especially of a lot of these collections that you can see multiple um you know maybe threes and fours. So you're definitely going to see a whole lot more coming. Plus it's a great revenue stream for the company that I mean they make, this is where they make the bulk of their money is on software sales, right? They pay their licensing fee. And with those major collections, I think you're going to also see another major uh, retro game company come to play on the Evercade like Capcom did. I think you're going to see maybe the Taito collection. And I think the most one you're going to see is the Sega collection. So I predict it right now, the Sega collection will show up in 2023 on the Evercade ecosystem. And you're gonna say, that's not very bold, Pete. Sega puts their stuff everywhere. I know Sega does, and it's awesome. And I think they're gonna see it. We're gonna see it 2023, we're gonna see it, definitely. And my final on the software prediction is gonna be Konami. I think you're gonna see Konami on the Evercade. We're gonna see a Castlevania collection. Um, you know, I think that's gonna come. I think it's, it's, it's about time, Konami. They seem to be inching back towards being more of a game company. Uh, time will time will tell. All right, my final prediction. And this is going to be a big one. This might irk a lot of people. But I predict, and I hope this one never comes through, but I'm just going to say it anyway. You know, I predict that Blaze Entertainment will be purchased in 2023. Yes, I said it here first. They will be purchased by um, either a bigger indie retro company, not sure if there's one out there, or an investment firm. Just like, you know, limited run game bullshit got bought, I think. Why would I say something? Thing Blaze has been successful. They're proven. They have a proven track record. They have a very good reputation in the retro gaming community. And I think they will get bought. I think they or somebody will invest in them at, at a significant level to hopefully broaden their reach and get them more licenses imagine if a big license big investment firm invested and bought a certain amount of blaze entertainment and i have no clue who owns blaze entertainment how many people own it i just know they're a small little company but i gotta gotta think if they get bought out imagine if these big money you know money bag investment firm and i'm talking purely speculation i have no clue comes in and buys them out and then gives them carte blanche to go secure big licenses and and gives them marketing dollars and oh my gosh can you imagine what would happen i don't want that to happen though i want them to get successful the grassroots way because i don't want them to lose why we love following and supporting this company they're just a bunch of people like us doing the best they can and creating great experiences. But I'm just going to predict it because you know what? I want to be bold and you never know. You never know. Companies, someone once told me a long time ago, you know, indie companies are created to be sold and created to be make money. And that is proven true 95% of the time. A majority of indie companies become successful, get sold. And that's the end game for a lot of them. Very few stay as pure indies but i hope that one doesn't really come through uh but if it means blaze surviving getting major licenses i guess i would support it i don't know but anyway let me know what your predictions are in the comments below thank you so much for hanging out with me 2022 was a blast in the world of blaze entertainment there's were some ups and downs but you know what then the today i'm looking forward to 2023 and playing more of my c64 collection because i've been neglecting it and i've got it on my list to play more of it. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. You have a great day. Bye.